And uh, she's 33 years old, five for eight. And at 33, well, she could theoretically play for another five to seven years. It'd be an amazing record. Well, she made the final in 26. That was also the year that she won the US Open. Yes. That's the, uh, certainly the strength of Ostapenko, the backhand. Even though these two have only played twice before, they know each other very well. Such good patterns of play. Ostapenko certainly has her doubts. Not happy about it, the Latvian, but uh, she'll take it. Very well played by Ostapenko. Started the service game well. Kerber made a bit of a comeback. Ostapenko put herself into a bit of a hole. But she is able to hold, and it's a 4 3 lead in the first set. There it is. Well, it took four set points, but uh, Ostapenko does get this first set over the line. It's been a high quality set from both players. But is Elena Ostapenko that just edges it out, Candy? Well, she did really well, didn't she? She was sort of fighting with herself, her coach and everything else, but came through it in the end, and she's just the one willing to attack. Well, that's perhaps a, a, a sign of how uh, Kerber wants this second set to go. You're absolutely right, because of course, momentum is such a big thing, isn't it? And if uh, Kerber was to suddenly pick up a bit of uh, momentum now and take out the second set comfortably. <laughs> set points now. The one set point here, though, for a Kerber. Cool set point now, though. Oh, that was superb, wasn't it? And a set play from Kerber going wide with the serve. Next shot into the open court, and what a bounce smash that was. Superb yeah, looking for a bit of German. eye contact there with yeah. Ostapenko as well after that. <laughs> But it's been a great response from Angie Kerber. Recovers to win the second set. We go to a final set decider. Well, that forehand wasn't wayward. Perfectly placed in the corner. Needs to be. She really fell away in that uh, second set. point wasn't it really good change up from Ostapenko who threw in the drop shot the frustration but still leave yourself with a work workable racket off when she's good she is very very good
she's not the first player with an aggressive style of play to be so up and down. punch excellent and that really is a, a, a break to love there from Kerber she has a couple of uh, bad points of a bad game she doesn't dwell on it something she did do in the second set big break that up. just not enough firepower and very comfortable for Ostapenko just not doing any damage with it and then the Latvian is inside the court and putting the ball away Something that Kerber was so good at in the second set. Yes, so showing signs of recovery now. Oh, that was superb. What a first serve it was. She needed that. She got it, pinpoint perfect. Certainly was, and uh, Kerber had to work very hard in that game. Uh, She's shown really shown a lot of her mental strength to come back, having players with plenty of break opportunities in this uh, third set. Oh, superb Kerber with another superb break. Kerber just having perhaps a little bit too much for it towards the end of this match. Three match points now for Kerber. And she only needs the one. Look at that reaction from Kerber as well. Been a fascinating match here to start the day on the grandstand court, and it's Kerber that goes through. Well, she's such a popular player. Having come into this match, winning nine of the last ten matches. They were all on grass. It's now ten of eleven. And look at that smile, because she really earned it. That was a hard-fought match. Kerber losing the first set, 6-4, but responded beautifully in the second set, 6-2. And then coming from behind again in the third set to win it, 7-5.